This week on Trippin' Around Oz. All right, we have an update on the boat situation. Put the hull, and the alley's just getting too thin to get it rewelded. So. We were about to pay. We just asked if we could weigh the boat. <laughs> they popped it on the scales. Kilos more than what we thought we were getting today. Welcome to our channel. We are a full-time traveling family of three who have been on the road for over two years working as we go. We have ridden around mountains and climbed them swum with seals and been chased by crocodiles, slipped through the mud and gone underground. We have stayed in sites with million dollar views, found incredible pink lakes and taken the roads less traveled. Thanks for joining us on our journey. We are tripping around Oz. Good morning. Good morning all. So, update, because it's been a little while. It's been like three days. It's been longer than that. It's like yeah. five, six. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember what we filmed last. So we are officially in Perth. So we will be here for a couple of weeks. We actually have a house sit lined up that we're at at the moment. Okay, Dan, what are we doing today though? He's spending all of our money. On Jess. We're going to DFO. No. <sighs> when you travel, you have like the same five shirts and five pants that you wear on repeat. And eventually they get pretty threadbare. So, oh, you burn holes in them when you're having a fire. Yeah, so we need to buy some new clothes today. But that's not what we're spending all our money on. We're buying fuel as well, which, yeah, yeah cats. Yeah. It's going to be an expensive day. Anyway, what are you buying? Tell the people. A uh, new boat. He's getting a new boat. What did you do to your old boat? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I used it like it was supposed to be and age got to it. Broke it. It's got yeah. a split. Yeah, split the hole. And the alley's just getting too thin to get it rewelded. I think my dad had it when I was two. I'm now 38. And he got it second hand from another guy, which puts it at a, anywhere from 40 to 50 years old. So basically, I no longer have an excuse to tell him he can't get a new boat. No, my boat keeps sinking. The boat is filling up with water, which is not great. So anyway, we're off to find a boat. So we've literally been in town for like three or four days, and I swear all we've done is look at boats. Uh, it's the biggest city on the west coast, so it's kind of the best place to buy one. Yeah. Anyway, this boat is massive in comparison to our current one. He's getting a... Rephrase, it's not bigger, it's just deeper. deeper. It's actually shorter than the one we've already got. Yeah, so it's deeper so that he can go out further and not be so worried about sharks and whatnot. You probably remember this video. <laughs> but, we've got a shark... Uh, oh yeah, Mr. Sharky, go away. It's my fish. Oh. And the crocodiles, uh, so yes, yeah, so it's deeper. So this boat, the biggest issue for us was weight. Um, so this boat is what, uh, 15 kilos more yeah. than our current one. So we actually got the scales out. 15 kilos more, what our one weighs on the scales compared to what this one is in the spec sheet. Um, so we actually culled 15 kilos worth of stuff, which... We actually culled about 29 kilos, but then we got a bigger solar panel. Yeah, we did. So that might be hard to believe, but what we did was, firstly, I went through the van and I gave a heap of linen we weren't using to my mum and dad to take home with them. So they can chuck that in their storage unit when they get back. And that was like five kilos. Linen adds up real quick. Um, and then just, I got a bag and I just started throwing out little things that you don't think weigh much, but obviously when you put it all together, it does. So I managed to get rid of nine kilos out of the van. And then Dion went through the canopy and threw out all of these items he has been traveling around with for nearly two years that have never been used. Like, So I bought a heap of spares that I had from when we did the Cape trip originally in 2018. So I had a full set of wheel bearings front and rear. I had spare brake pads front and rear and I think I even had a set from the old Hilux or something. I, I didn't know which ones were which. Uh, spare uni, spare foils. We I, had um, yeah. we had some double up cleaning products we got rid of. Anyway, so yeah, all up it was around 29 kilos, but we bought a few things. So I'm gonna say probably we, we got rid of 22 kilos worth of stuff. I think that's what I worked it out to be. Yeah. We're, we're pretty much on the limit now for what we can get rid of. We've, that was pretty brutal oh, cold. It's not, I've got a set of drawers that's only half full. Actually, two sets of drawers that are half full, so I can Yeah, the drawers are 22 kilos each, and we have 
two of them. Yeah. So. So worst case, I'll move all the stuff out of one drawer into one into the other, and either sell or get rid of the other set of drawers. That'll give me another 22 kilos, which will possibly get a bigger motor. No, no, no. We're getting this boat because it works with our motor. Yeah. Because otherwise, I will never hear the end of the fact that he doesn't like the new motor. We're not. We're not doing that. No, I, I do like the motor we've got. It's the 2017 model. So the very last of the two-stroke motors. Uh, unless I was able to find a 2015 in a short shaft. Oh, sorry, 2017 in a short shaft, 15 horsepower Mercury, which it's very hard to find on its own. Let alone, like, a lot of people sell them as a whole combo, and I don't really want the whole combo. No. If you buy someone else's boat, you get all the extra stuff they put into it: floors, rod holders, trailers. seats, trailers. And then you end up with a heap of weight we don't need. So yes. we're buying new, which is costing us more, but at least we know exactly what weight we're picking up. Yes. So, yeah, so we've been whinging we couldn't get a boat for a long time because we didn't have the weight, but we have culled enough stuff now to make it work. So. Well, originally we had the weight, like we still have it, but just being pedantic as she is, she wants to have a leeway there for when we have yes. extra food and extra fuel and extra water and extra everything. Yeah, I don't want to be right on the limit. No, originally when we left we had probably 200 kilos to spare. With all the stuff she's bought, I'd say maybe 100 kilos to spare Hey! Now. Hey, it's not my afro. It's not my fishing gear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah see, look, he knows. Anyway, let's go get this boat. Yep. And we're back. And we're still... Boatless. Boatless. So, we legitimately got them to do the receipt up. We were about to pay for the boat. The guys there were great. It was at Dinghy World in um, Perth. Yeah. Um, they were really, really helpful, but the boat, they'd taken it down and we tried to pick it up because Dion wants to keep manhandling it because we don't want to get a loader because we don't have the weight for that. Yes. Our boat loader is anywhere from 40 kilos to 60 kilos and that's half the weight of a boat. Yeah. So anyway, we just asked if we could weigh the boat just to see like, the spec sheet said it would be 76 kilos. Yeah. And we just thought maybe it's closer to 80, like it's feels pretty heavy anyway they popped it on the <laughs> they popped it on the scales yeah and take your guesses how much you think it weighed if we didn't bring it home i'll give you three seconds three two one 108 kilos 108 which is 50 kilos more than our current boat and 30 kilos more than what we thought we were getting today so everyone was very confused because they weighed a much bigger boat the other day that was under 100 yeah, kilos. Uh, 38 Daredevil, so yeah. 300 mil longer. Uh, yeah. yeah. Same depth. So they think that potentially the boat was made like during COVID when they had run out of a particular type of. Yeah, so the boat's supposed to be made out of 1.6 mil alley. And they think it was made out of either 2 or 3 mil alley. So adding yeah, an extra weight to it. So anyway, so we're waiting to hear back. They've called the factory that makes this particular boat, give, given them the whole number, and they're gonna look into it because that's a lot of weight, 30 kilos more than what the spec sheet says. That's a big deal. Yeah. So I'm glad we weighed it, glad we dodged a bullet. Like I said, the guys at Dinghy World were great. Like, it's not their fault. No. So what we're gonna do is wait for a call when they've got a few more boats coming in in the next few weeks. And we'll go back down and see if we can find one that's closer to the 70 to 80 kilo mark, which is where we need the boat to be. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, so that's um, that's fun. Yeah. But anyway, no boat today. All right. So just a quick update on the boat. Um, just finished our shopping for clothes, and we're getting some fuel. The guy at the boat shop called us back. He spoke to the manufacturer of that boat. That was really heavy. And um, they've confirmed that that particular hull got made out of two millimeter aluminium. And that is why it was so much heavier than what the stat sheet said. So would have been a perfect boat, that little bit extra weight for the same price if we were popping it on a trailer. But yeah, just not quite what we need for um, chucking it on the roof. All right, Dion, what did you just do? 
I went and purchased another boat. Spent all my money. Oh, your money? I'm not working. <laughs> At the moment, I'm going to have to go back to work now. We're poor. Yeah. So, tell everyone what you ended up picking. Uh, I got a C Trex 340 car topper, mm -hmm. but we've changed up and we're going to go long shaft. Because I am sick of hearing him second guess whether to just keep using his short shaft motor or get a bigger one because he wants it to be legal, legal for, for three people in the boat even though I don't go in the boat. But now the opportunity's there which means I'm going to get forced to go fishing more than I want to. Yeah, see? Yeah, then have some nice one to fish with while I'm over there fishing. Yay me. And you know what he said to me? He said, we'll get the bigger boat and then you'll have time on your own because I'll take Hudson fishing and you'll be able to stay. And now it's going to be, but you have to come because we spent all this extra money so there was an extra seat in the boat. <laughs> Look at him. I'm right, aren't I? Think of all the fun you had last time when we were in, where was Monkey Bay? We went one Kaluby. Of the nah, we full Kaluby. Streaky Bay. Bay. No, it was Streaky. It was streaky. I didn't have fun fishing. You didn't have fun catching all those whiting? No. <laughs> Why did you get a bigger boat? Exactly. Anyway, this also means we need to buy a different motor. So. Yeah, seeing as we've gone a long shaft. If we'd yeah. say short shaft, we could have made do with what I've got. And they actually had a short shaft there today. But, but my problem is it's underpowered. Yeah. And this one likes to go offshore. Yeah. Ever. and be in big waves anyway so now we need to find a bigger motor so more money so we got them to weigh this boat and it is 78 kilos which is 13 13 kilos more yeah so it's not yeah 13 kilos more. no 23 kilos more 23 kilos more but at least we actually know what the boat weighs we're not guessing and we're not putting extras in it no it's just going to be just a boat with the motor yeah, just going to chuck the sounder off the old boat in. And that'll be pretty. A little Milwaukee battery set up for yeah. powering the sounder and... But all that stuff that's doesn't it. sit on the roof. No. So that's the thing, we're trying to be mindful of the weight that's on the roof of the car. So yes. Even though technically it's on top of the canopy and the canopy can hold whatever. Yeah, it's, it's more so the brackets that are holding it. Yeah. Like, we've got heavy duty brackets. Each set of brackets is good for 75 kilos, so we're good for 150. But I still... Yeah. We want to be able to manhandle it. We want to both be able to lift it and actually move it. Alright. We have an update on the boat situation. Don't know what you're talking about. Dion has now got a boat. A bigger. Look how huge this thing is. Look at that motor. It's like... Come and stand next to the motor. It's like as big as him. Yeah, it stands out that sort of tall. Are you happy? Finally. No, because I haven't taken it on the water yet. <sighs> but yes. Anyway. I am happy so far. So it's all brand new. Yeah, we thought about buying second hand and just didn't want to deal with other people's problems. There's a reason they're selling them. And now we know how much everything weighs. Yeah. So we got them to weigh the boat before we picked that up. That was 78 kilos. Yes. Which is 23, 23 kilos more than our old boat. Oh, the motor oh, is 20 kilos more than our old motor, so we've put on 43 kilos. So we've already got rid of 20 kilos worth of stuff, and Dion's going to sell a set of drawers which is 22 kilos, which will keep us exactly where we were. Also, he needs to sell his old stuff because now we yeah, have old boat. like that, but we still have a motor over here and a boat. So. This is a slight problem and needs to be dealt with. Yeah? If anyone wants to buy a boat and motor, 75 kilos. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's done. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Unless you're telling me how amazing it is. For that we have to go fishing. What's up, Jess? We forgot to do a video because we're good like that. Yeah, we're just too busy getting the <laughs> sorted. Too busy getting what sorted? Stuff sorted. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so we told you Dion bought a boat. Okay, well we bought a boat for Dion. Well, Jess paid for the boat, I paid for the motor, so we both bought one. And all the money came out of the same account though. Yeah. Just who pressed the pay button? Um, 
and we've spent like literally all afternoon putting this Floor. foam stuff in. Well, Dion cuts it and I sit in the boat and put it down, so I think I'm getting the raw end of the deal here. Yeah. <laughs> He's not You're not it. trusted with sharp objects. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, um, so either it's going to be like amazing or it's going to be shit just peel off we'll let you know <laughs> <laughs> should be good yeah but anyway so yeah we're just uh doing this and we registered it today yes and registering a boat or a vehicle in another state when you don't have a license for that state is a pain in the butt so i called the department of transport here and they said it was fine as long as we brought our passport in and then we came in today and the guy was like, nah, can't do it. You don't live here. The boat won't be here. We, we can't do it. We can't use the boat while you're here. So then I had to like say, well, we called and blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden it could be done. Yeah, so, fill that one more form, you can get it done. Yeah. So if you need to register something in WA and you're not from WA, you just need to fill out the registration form and you need an identity form. Fill those both out and bring in your license and your passport. And as long as you have an address in WA you can put down, you can register stuff here. Register stuff here. We've got new wheels because the other one's shredded after a year. Oh, uh, that's another thing. Those tinny wheel mover things, they have a warranty. Because yeah. I rung BCF to ask if we could replace, like if they had replacement wheels because ours broke. And he looked us up and he's like, oh, that's under warranty. Just We'll just give you a whole new set. Yeah, so that's... These tinny mover wheels. Yeah. So yes, I'm, I don't know how long the warranties. But we've had them for almost a year. Almost a year, so it's at least twelve month warranty. Yeah, we, we, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Show you the finished product once Jess finishes sticking it down. Having so much fun, but not sore at all. And we're we're kind of racing the rain at the moment. There's yeah. a storm coming. Good times. At least it's not hot. Yeah. yeah. He's finally done. What, three days later? Yeah. Slow process. The boat's, boat's done? Yes. It's really hard to get parts in Perth. All the parts we're looking for are always sold out. And look, it's even registered. Registered. Alright, so the boat's done. So, here we go. Look at that. So we've got the rubber flooring to make it less slippery. We were cheap and bought it off eBay. Yep. So what was it like? Uh, $58 a roll, so for two rolls, like $116 I think. Yeah, and then we had to pre-cut everything. So it's not it's not perfect, but it will be less slippery. Than walking on wet alley. Yeah. And then he's got all his rail blazer bits and apparently he needs more so we have to go spend some more money well, i don't need more if jess wants to put the gopro in here then i'm going to need another one mm. can't lose two rod holders oh we couldn't no. at all but yeah so done so are you happy that's probably the biggest question i'll be happy when we get it on the water yeah well, on the water yet. no we haven't but you couldn't do it anyway until it was registered yeah we only got that done yesterday so yeah all done sweet it's all ready to be mounted on the car we've had to rearrange our mounting system because originally the other boat was skinnier so we could actually mount uh, tie it down with turnbuckles from the outside now we have to go from the inside so it's a bit more of a pain righty see you guys see you all right so today we have come to the swan valley area which is kind of like the barossa of the perth i yep. think $550 bottle and the other one that was a $700 to $1,200 bottle and we weren't sure which one we had ordered. <laughs> the doctor's not in, he's locked it. Um, rocky Road. Oh! That's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs>